You seen that title in that thumbnail. Y'all ready for some tacos? We're gonna put a Mexican twist on it with these chicken tinga tacos. You ready? Get in your kitchen, let's go. So let's do a quick rundown of what we're gonna use today. Right here we have our chicken thighs. I just pulled them out of the refrigerator. That's why this bowl is kind of foggy. Um, but you can use chicken breasts or chicken thighs. It's totally up to you. And right here we have roasted tomatoes. Now, if you don't have roasted tomatoes, you can use some uh, tomato sauce. That's fine, you can use tomato sauce. Right here we have some onions. We have some chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. Here we got them jalapeno peppers here, some garlic some cumin, olive oil, and right here we have some dry Mexican oregano. That's it guys, you ready? Let's get to it. All right, so now we're gonna get started by seasoning our chicken. Now I'm gonna use some seasoned salt and you just season it to taste however you wanna do it. That's why I'm not giving you any me measurements for this. Use me some seasoned salt. You can use regular salt and pepper. It's totally up to you. Definitely gonna use some pepper, but I'm not gonna use regular salt with this. I'm gonna use some seasoned salt. We'll come behind that with a little pepper. All right, so let's move over to our cooktop so we can get these babies in the pan. All right, let's start off by heating up our olive oil in a pan to a medium heat. Once you get that oil up to temperature, add your onions along with your jalapenos, and we're gonna cook that for about five minutes. Get those onions and those jalapenos softened. All right, so it's been about five minutes. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to remove our mixture. Now you can leave it in here if you want to and just move it to the side that makes you feel better. Or you can just totally remove it to sear your chicken, but I'm gonna remove it. All right, so now we're gonna unpause our heat. We're gonna turn it up just a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit more olive oil because we wanna get these babies seared. And we're gonna start adding our chicken once it gets up to temperature. All right, once you reach that smoke point, you wanna just start adding your uh, thighs, I said breast, but your thighs. And you wanna do a, you know, a nice sear for about two minutes, two to three minutes on each side. All right, guys, we're coming up on the end of our second batch, so we're gonna go ahead and remove our chicken. Just briefly, we're gonna add them to this plate. We're gonna sit it aside real quick. So what I've done while I was cooking our chicken, I took our tomato, roasted tomatoes, and our chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, and I blended it in our, my blender. So we're gonna use that in just a second. So what we're gonna do now, so we're gonna add our onions and jalapenos back to the pan. Now guys, I'm gonna tell you, I forgot to do something, but hey, forgive me. We're just gonna add them back to the pan and we're just going to add our garlic. Y'all guys, I forgot that garlic that was sitting over there. We're gonna just let it cook briefly for one minute, real easy. I mean, we were gonna do this anyway, add the veggies back to the pan. All right guys, so after that minute, we're gonna add our chicken pieces back into our pan. Just gonna sit it on top of the, just like that. And now we're gonna take our chipotle and tomato mix and we're gonna pour this over our chicken just like that. We're gonna add the remaining of our seasoning, which is our cumin here. And I forgot to tell you guys about the chili powder. We definitely use some chili powder in here. I add that to the video description also and our Mexican oregano. We're just gonna get this moved around in here. We're gonna let this come up to a boil like it is now. We're gonna reduce our heat down to low. So we're gonna let this simmer for 30 minutes and then we're gonna come back.
All right, so we're about 30 minutes in. I'm just going to check out chicken to make sure that it's, you know, we can get this bang shredded once we get it out of here. Okay, so it looks like it's, it's pretty, a little bit tender. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it stay here for another, wait about another five or 10 minutes. We want to make sure it shreds real good, all right? I'm going to cover it up for this last five or 10 minutes, and then we're going to come back. All right, guys, so it looks like we are there. I'm going to pause our heat. We're going to move our chicken from our pan over to a bowl, and we're going to start shredding it with a fork. So let me get my tongs. All right, so let's get over to our cutting board. All right, guys, so it looks like we have this baby shredded up like we want it. So we're going to head back over to our cooktop, and we're going to add it back to that sauce, let it cook just a little bit more in that sauce so it can absorb it, and then we're going to prepare our taco. All so now we're just going to move this back over to a bowl. That way we can start building out our tacos, okay? So let's get this in a bowl and we're going to move over to our cutting board. And there you have it guys, chicken tinga taco. Let me know what you think about this recipe in the comment section below. We're going to jump into quality control because I know y'all ready to test these out or y'all ready for me to test them out. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right, guys, we're back in here quality control time. You always know whenever I do some tacos or pizza, you can always find Leia running up behind me for quality control. So I got her here with me and we have our chicken tinga tacos. Now, she typically don't eat hot stuff, but I'm gonna tell you, she's gonna get either try, but I'm gonna let you know, of course they're hot. They have chipotle peppers in it and adobo sauce, that stuff is hot, but you know, we did mix it in some uh, roasted tomatoes, so we're gonna see what it tastes like. So go ahead and grab you one, Leah. Man, they look good, don't they? They look very good. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. And we got our water on the side. Well, she got, a, I got some water too, but I ain't too much worried about it because I like hot stuff, but let's check it out. Man, listen, the first bite into that, you taste flavor. It's good, but it's hot. Mm. Got a lot of seasoning in it. But probably what I should have did, I probably just should have used maybe one or two chipotle peppers. I think I put about four or five. I just put the whole can, whatever was in the can, I just dumped it in there with the roasted tomatoes. And that's it, but if you want to cut down on that, don't, don't put any chipotle peppers in. Just leave the chipotle peppers out of it and just add the adobo sauce along with your uh, roasted tomatoes and that'll cut down. But other than that, for me, this is great. I love it. Mm. So let them know what you think about it besides it being hot, because they already know that you know it's hot. Mm -hmm. They can look at you and tell that. Um, it got a lot of seasoning. From the first bite, it does have a lot of seasoning. It's very good. Mm -hmm. I like it. If it didn't have the jalapenos, it would have been perfect for me. But it's good. And look at her guy. She talking about jalapeno like her daddy. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get back to this. Until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli, and this is... Leia. And this is All Wings Everything. And remember, we're not chefs. We just cook a lot. And, and we are out. out. Peace. Peace.